So, do you want to be so overpowered you can stand in front of the boss without a care in the world? I got you. This build consists in getting our defenses and poise so high and have so much healing that we won't care about taking a hit in the face. Let's get started. You can choose any class, but the warrior class is cheaper to level up, choose the master key as a gift. The first step is to get a powerful weapon, you can use any weapon you want, but what best option than the black knight halberd, the best weapon in the game. We are going to get it first because it's an RNG drop, and if it doesn't drop we can restart the game and try again. If you don't want to restart you can try to get another one of the black knight weapons later on or just use whatever weapon you want. To kill the Black Knight easily, block until he uses the spinning attack. Go behind him and let gravity do its job. Gravity is so overpowered it can one-shot anyone in the game. Make sure to kill the Crystal Lizard on the way, we gonna need the Twinkling Titanite. To use the BKH, we first need to level up quite a lot, what requires far more souls than we have. Let's pay a visit to Moonlight Butterfly and change that. But first go human so we can summon Beatrice to help us in the fight. Before the boss let's make a little detour and get the wolf ring. You can farm green blossoms from the frog rays if you want. If you choose to farm, be quick to loot them because after killed, the frog rays can sink into the floor what make looting them impossible. With the wolf ring in hands, head to the boss. Moonlight Butterfly spend most of the time in the air, out of our reach, so summon Beatrice and let her deal with the flying bug. For some reason, early game summons are so powerful that Beatrice can take care of Moonlight Butterfly by herself. After leveling up you'll finally be able to two-handed the Black Knight Halberd. You're already can one-shot most enemies, but head to Andre and let's get the BKH even more broken upgrading it to plus two. Time to take care of our heals. Go back to Firelink Shrine making sure to grab the Firekeeper Soul on the way. Get the goodies around Magilla, in special the Homeward Bones. Head to New London Ruins, a very cheerful place, to get another Firekeeper Soul. After using this Firekeeper Soul to upgrade our Estus Flask to plus 2, we can heal to full health with a single charge. Now go to Undead Burg and visit the Undead Merchant. Buy the Residence Key if you want something from Griggs, and a bunch of Firebombs. The Firebombs are needed only if you want to cheese Capra Demon and Hydra. Use the skip to go to Lower Undead Burg. You can use the Black Knight Halberd to kill the enemies here, but I like to hide behind the fire and let them die while trying to kill me. If you're luck they will die pretty fast. Open the shortcut to Hunter's Dream, so if you die, you can come back here easy. Clean the last enemies and let's kill Capra Demon. You can go there and deal with him using your Shine BKH, or cheese him with firebombs. If you chose the firebomb exploit, aim how I'm doing in the video, throw 4 firebombs and reposition your character. Repeat until he is dead. After the fight you can go up and open the shortcut to hound table hold. Free Laurentius, use rolls to break the barrel so you won't accidentally hit him. Go back to Firelink Shrine and buy Iron Flesh from Pyro Sensei. Iron Flesh reduces damage in 40% and make us knight immune to staggering, with high defense and healing. We pretty much unkillable. Time to take care of our defenses. Head to Hovel's Tower and get Hovel's Ring. Make your way to the Hydra, two-hand your shield to make easier to deal with Hydra's Aqua Projectile. Once you get on the safe spot, quit out to reset enemy's position. Stand exactly where I showing and you won't be hit by Hydra's head strike. Put the camera as high as it can go and throw firebombs to hit Hydra's body. If you having trouble find the right position, just block the strikes and attack while the boss is recovering. You could kill Hydra the usual way using the Black Knight Halberd, but I think this way is more efficient. 
After the fight, go to Darkroot Garden. Our goal is to get the Stone Knight set, one of the sets with the highest defense in the entire game. The Stone Knight set is so good that it alone would make you overpowered. You'll find the mushroom people here. They drop gold pine resin when killed, you can farm them if you want. The little ones are harmless, but be very careful with the big ones, they hit like a goddamn truck. Since we here let's farm the forest hunters NPCs. These guys are strong, equip the ring of sacrifice just in case. Follow my steps and you'll earn around 10k souls easily. Time to wrap things up. Get as much health as you can. And attune iron flesh. See how overpowered you are against Taurus Demon. You can take hits all day long. And as if this wasn't enough, you still has plenty of healing. Plus, you hit like a truck, a really big and heavy truck. Let's kill Hellkite Drake to get 10k more souls. If you having trouble with the Drake, I have a video teaching how to kill him easily. Upgrade the BKH one more time. And this is it, you are now Knight Unstoppable. Have fun stand in front of the bosses without a care in the world. See you in the next one.